Battle Royale video games have taken the gaming world by storm. These fast-paced, adrenaline-fueled games pit players against each other in a fight for survival until only one remains. With their emphasis on strategy, survival skills, and quick thinking, Battle Royale games have become a staple of the gaming community and continue to captivate millions of players around the world. This video is intended to introduce you to the genre of Battle Royale video games, help you understand their appeal, and basic mechanics that are staples of games within the genre. Hello, I'm your friend Humble. This is Humble Explains. In this series, I aim to take complex concepts and stories from video games and other media and break them down into simple and easy to understand terms. Today we will be breaking down what is a Battle Royale video game. Bear with me here as we are going to go through some technical definitions, just to make sure we are on the same page. So we presumably know what a game is, an activity that involves challenges, rules, and an objective, often designed for entertainment or competition. And since this isn't a two hour long recording on the history of video games, we know that a video game is a digital form of entertainment that can be played on a computer, console, or mobile device, where the player interacts with a virtual world through images and sounds generated by the computer. This brings us to our first big question. What is a multiplayer video game? According to Wikipedia, a multiplayer video game is a video game in which more than one person can play in the same game environment at the same time, either locally on the same computing system, e.g. couch co-op, on different computing systems via a local area network, or via a wide area network, most commonly the internet, e.g. World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, DayZ. Multiplayer games usually require players to share a single game system or use networking technology to play together over a greater distance. Players may compete against one or more human contestants, work cooperatively with a human partner to achieve a common goal, or supervise other players' activity. Due to multiplayer games allowing players to interact with other individuals, they provide an element of social communication absent from single-player games. It isn't hard for many to see the appeal in games, their digital progenies, and why they are fun to share with friends. Now beginning to bring us to the meat of our piece. What is a Battle Royale, or BR for short? According to Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, Battle Royale. Noun. 1A. A fight participated in by more than two combatants. Especially, one in which the last fighter in the ring or the last fighter standing is declared the winner. B. A violent struggle. 2. A heated dispute. Variants, Battle Royale. Plural, Battles Royal or Battle Royals or Battles Royale or Battle Royales. I would list synonyms such as dispute or crossfire, but they are not relevant for the purposes of this video. The main definition as it relates to this video is that a battle royale is a fight participated in by more than two combatants, especially one in which the last fighter in the ring or the last fighter standing is declared the winner. This definition is the common thread between all games and things that carry the tag of battle royale. The term Battle Royale originated from the Japanese film Battle Royale released in 2000, where a group of high school students are forced to participate in a government-sponsored deathmatch on an island. The movie and its subsequent adaptations popularized the concept of a last man standing competition, which was later applied to video games. Most of the associated games in the Battle Royale genre fall under the category of shooter games. A multiplayer shooter video game is a genre of video game where players engage in competitive or cooperative gameplay by shooting opponents or targets using various weapons. Weapon and character customization are often key features. These games are played by multiple players either online or locally and typically involve fast-paced action, strategic teamwork, and quick reflexes. Examples include games such as Overwatch, Call of Duty, and Fortnite. Shooter games by their nature tend to have violent, fast-paced, and aggressive gameplay, making them an excellent fit for the Battle Royale game mode. However, BR games are not always tactical shootouts. 
There are a number of successful variants of this formula, including Fall Guys, Ultimate Knockout, a multiplayer party game where players compete in obstacle course challenges to be the last one standing. Darwin Project, a survival game set in a post-apocalyptic environment where players must gather resources and outweat their opponents. Knives Out, a mobile battle royale game that features melee combat, parkour, and strategy elements. Hyperscape, a fast-paced, futuristic battle royale game that takes place in a virtual city and includes unique abilities and weapons. Realm Royale, a fantasy-themed battle royale game that features classes, mounts, and crafting mechanics. All of these are fantastic twists on the formula we are becoming more familiar with. However, I don't necessarily want to talk about any of those games. In this series and on this channel in general I will talk about what I consider my big three, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Warzone, and Apex Legends. There are a number of games in this style, but if you play one of these you probably have at least a passing familiarity with the others. All are shooter games with either first person or third person camera perspectives as well as a number of weapons, items, and mechanics to be familiar with. There are many other shooting based battle royal games, but they almost all share similar procedures and mechanics. Understanding these and how they affect gameplay will give you a new level of media literacy when discussing or interacting with this style of electronic media. As an introductory tool, I have included an excerpt from an excellent Acer blog post by Ashley Buckwell. A battle royale game combines elements of scavenging alongside its survival aesthetic, with the player base starting with minimal equipment, collecting loot, and then trying to eliminate all of the other players while staying inside of an ever-shrinking safe zone in order to be the last man standing. Some games have implemented their own special twists, like the ability to revive teammates, the opportunity to fight for the chance to respawn, or special character abilities. The name Battle Royale can be traced back to the 2000 Japanese cult film Battle Royale, which centers on characters who must fight each other to stay alive. Brief History of the Battle Royale Genre, The Hunger Game Simulator The Battle Royale game format is a relatively new development, emerging in only the past decade or so. The format for Battle Royale style games originated with mods to multiplayer games such as Minecraft. The first of these mods for Minecraft was Survival Games, a competitive take on the game modeled after the 2012 Hunger Games movie. Survival Games gained popularity and the idea quickly spread to other games. Competitive mods were subsequently developed for DZ and Arma 3. A popular battle royale mod to Z1, a zombie survival game, actually led the developer, Daybreak Company, to create its own game. Daybreak's resulting Z1 Battle Royale, also known as H1Z1 and King of the Kill throughout its development and growth process, is considered the first standalone game in the genre as it is today. It was originally released on Steam's Early Access program on January 15, 2015 as H1Z1. In 2017, the same person who developed the Battle Royale style mods for DayZ and Arma 3 went on to create the standalone game player unknowns Battlegrounds, PUBG. Immediately following on from PUBG's success, Epic Games debuted Fortnite, Battle Royale, a competitive mode to accompany its own zombie survival game. In 2019, Apex Legends was released, managing to reach 50 million players in its first month alone. Tetris 99 was also released in 2019, a spin on the genre that involves players seeing 98 other gamers simultaneously playing Tetris. The following year brought Call of Duty, Warzone, and Fall Guys, Ultimate Knockout, each with their own unique takes on the genre. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and the dev who started it all. The game that is most responsible for establishing the Battle Royale genre is PUBG, which was released in March 2017. While the game only sold 2 million copies within the first few months of its early access release on Steam, this number had jumped to 50 million units just a year later in June 2018. Although not the first Battle Royale style standalone game, its popularity and style of gameplay inspired many more developers, and ever since the release of PUBG, we have witnessed a lot of competition in the genre. 
The developer behind PUBG, Brandon Green, has also been one of the most influential people in the space, being one of the first to pioneer the game format. In 2013, as a part-time web designer, Green knew enough basic coding to experiment with his own mod games. He drew inspiration from existing survivor-style mods created by the online community, and of course from the cult classic movie Battle Royale. In late 2014, after about a year working on mods, Green got a call from Sony Online Entertainment, now called Daybreak Game Company, who asked him to work as a consultant on a game called H1Z1 so they could license his Battle Royale concept to use in the game. Then, in 2016, South Korean game company Bluehole, now Krafton Game Union, reached out to Green about developing his own Battle Royale title, which would become Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. From there, the rest is history. I will note here that there is still some debate on the true title for the first Battle Royale game, but the article gives an excellent overview of the origins of our topic. Now that we have been introduced to the concept and precedent, let us examine individual mechanics developers implement in their BRs. 1. Last player or team standing wins. Some of this should be obvious since we just talked about the origins of Battle Royale. Most of these have modes for teams between 1 to 4 players. Single player teams being broken into what are known as solos matches. As well as duos, trios, and quads, depending on your respective squad size. The goal of most matches is to simply eliminate or outlast as many players as possible. Your own death or elimination will usually result in either needing to be revived by a teammate or returning to the main lobby in order to wreck for a new match. Matches usually contain between 50 to 150 players depending on which game and mode you have selected. A match on a standard BR can be anywhere from 5 minutes to 40 minutes or so depending on a number of factors. Surviving and eliminating all other 100 or so players is the only way to win, the W, the chicken dinner, the victory royale. 2. Large map with a shrinking circle. Some of the most popular BRs have huge maps to explore. Part of what spurred the creation of BR games is new limits that can be pushed by modern hardware. Better hardware means bigger maps and more impressive environments with more items to interact with. Most BRs also implement a way to force all these players into action with a shrinking map mechanic. In some games it's called the storm, in some it is called the gas. However it is always a circle that forms around the outside of the map and begins to shrink faster and faster every few minutes. The new play area and path to the new play area will usually be indicated on the player's map. The storm or gas will also have a hue or colored glow to indicate its approach in the 3D environment. Should players have this storm pass over them their health and protective shields will begin to deplete until they leave the affected area. As the playable game area shrinks, this forces players to run into other teams more frequently as time and safe space becomes limited. 3. Dynamic Weather and Environments Large maps with changing landscapes lend themselves well to special or limited time events. These events can include anything from extreme weather or lighting changes, destructible buildings, care packages falling from the sky, cross-promotional materials, or many other feats not previously seen or shared on such a scale. This is more or less thanks to hardware, software, and connectivity improvements applied to gaming technology in about the last 20 years. 4. Parachuting and Landing Understanding most of the previous in this piece likely leads people to their first interaction with this medium, your first drop into the battle. While not every game mode will utilize this mechanic, the primary game mode for the big titles will deploy you onto the map this way. An aerial deployment vehicle, e.g. battle bus, cargo helicopter, military jump jet, will cross in a straight line roughly over the center of the map. You will need to assess the map from overhead and decide where you want to land. You will be prompted to deploy with the rest of the players in the lobby and can watch everyone in the lobby depart from the first flight. You will begin to free fall and be able to proceed toward anywhere on the map, being prompted to pull a parachute to break your fall when you begin to get close to the ground. If you do not deploy from the first flight you will be kicked off near the edge of the map. 
Some games have automatically deploying parachutes and some will prompt you, but it is very possible to not be paying attention and cause your avatar enough damage to down or eliminate you. Assuming everything went well you will definitely be using the next mechanic. 5. Gathering weapons, looting, and scavenging resources. Your first few minutes on the ground in a battle royale can be critical to your success. Whether you land right next to enemy players near the center of the map or you strategically pick a secluded cabin on the fringes you are going to need, a weapon, some sort of healing or shielding devices, as well as, depending on the title and items, a combination of ammunition and currency. These items will usually be stored in some sort of easy to navigate and manage backpack system near the bottom of the player's screen. So as soon as you touch ground in a BR map your first priority is likely get a gun. Ideally, a couple of M and some ammunition to spare. Shooter games are often action-packed with very competitive players. Arming yourself quickly and then securing the ability to heal or apply armor are usually minute one activities for players. Note that every BR game has a number of lootable items and openable containers. The nitty-gritty details of their animations and effects are part of what gives each game its own style. 6. Health and Healing Management Most BRs will employ a standard health bar indicator for the player, as well as some sort of shield system to increase the player's survivability in a fight. Some games also employ a replenishing stamina or sprint bar to limit running, jumping, or other evasive maneuvers. Maintaining all your various indicator bars near their maximum is ideal before engaging with enemy players. Having ways to replenish these stats is also a key part of looting and inventory management. 7. Movement, Vehicles, and Positioning With such large maps, it's only natural that there are numerous ways to navigate and tactfully place yourself around the map. Many maps feature accessible cars, boats, and even air vehicles with various benefits depending on their style. Many games also have redeployment features that allow you to interact with an object and be sent flying into the air with the opportunity to cover huge amounts of ground or gain a more advantageous position. Good player movement is crucial in a battle royale game as it allows players to increase their chances of survival, navigate the game's map effectively, and gain a strategic advantage over their opponents. Good movement can help players find weapons, avoid danger, and effectively engage in combat. It can also allow players to control the pace of the game and manipulate their enemies' movements. In short, good player movement is an essential aspect of winning a battle royale game. 8. Variables Part of the appeal of these massive competitions is that there are a number of randomized factors in each match. You usually have some control of which map, the size of the teams, and number of players in every match. However, the path of your plane, what weapons and loot will be on the ground, where the circle will restrict the map to, and a number of other factors are randomized each match. Since you can't be certain of how things will play out, this helps make each match feel fresh and keeps you on your toes every time you drop in. Having knowledge of all these distinct game functions is critical to being able to regularly secure wins. All that being said, the randomness of the game creates a huge luck component to the proceedings of every match. Finally, there are a number of things that set even games this similar apart. For example, Fortnite features mechanics to allow you to build or destroy almost any structure on the map, but you can't shoot through structures or walls. However, Warzone has no construction or destruction mechanics that affect structures, but you are able to shoot through walls and explosives have realistic effects on enemies and vehicles. Apex Legends also has little to no building destruction or wall penetration, but does allow players to break down doors and features some destructible objects. In conclusion, Battle Royale video games have become a staple of the gaming community due to their fast-paced and adrenaline-fueled nature. These games challenge players to strategize, utilize survival skills, and think quickly in order to emerge as the last one standing. The Battle Royale genre is a subset of multiplayer shooter video games, which generally involve violent, fast-paced gameplay and weapon and character customization. 
While the traditional BR formula is a tactical shootout, the genre has expanded to include a variety of different game styles, including obstacle course challenges, survival games, melee combat, and even fantasy-themed games. The popularity of Battle Royale games is a testament to the excitement and thrill they bring to players. Whether played on a console, computer, or mobile device, Battle Royale games are sure to keep players on the edge of their seat and provide endless hours of entertainment. Thank you for watching. Any appropriate links and credits should be in the description below. I have more variety content coming as well as follow-up videos to this one where I get into further breakdowns of multiplayer games. If you liked this video or learned something today, please drop a like and subscribe to Humbled on YouTube. It would really mean a lot. If you feel I missed anything crucial, let me know down in the comments. As always, have a great day.